What if you had a tablet that could bend the laws of physics? Now that's a pretty bold claim, and I know that's a pretty silly looking title in the video, but uh, I honestly couldn't think of anything else to name this. This is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Sheikah Slate, and this is the slate that Link uses to, well, pretty much manipulate things around him, whether it's to summon a bomb to blow open a wall or to crack a rock open, or to use Cryonis to summon an ice pillar out of water. We're gonna take a closer look now at exactly what this slate can do, and I think a lot of you Zelda fans, like me included, are gonna be happy about this add-on. All right, so it really all starts with the bombs. So in Zelda, usually you get a bomb bag, and then you can throw the bombs, or even the bomb plants, to throw them at walls to break them open, or to solve puzzles. It's all pretty cool and dandy, and of course, we got it in Breath of the Wild, and it's a little strange, because you summon a bomb out of, well, I guess, Sheikah energy? And you can see it rolls around, it kinda looks like a Pokeball, in fact. <laughs> at least this one does. Um, you cannot push it around, but I believe... Can we actually, like, pick this up? No, you cannot. But you can go ahead and press left click again. And you will blow it up. So, you could do a lot of fancy stuff with this. I've seen some YouTubers. They'll do, like, these crazy jumps and, you know, they break the game and fly across all of Hyrule. It's pretty damn bitchin'. But maybe round bombs are not your thing. Maybe you're more of a cube guy. And we got that for you. So the reason why they give you a cube bomb is because, well, we all know that round bombs roll around everywhere. And that's pretty annoying. So if you want a bomb to stay exactly where it is when you throw it, that's where the cube bomb comes in. And if you couldn't tell from that moment before, I'd say it's pretty damn effective. Next up we have Magnesis. Ooh, that's pretty cool sounding. So this works pretty much kind of like the fizz gun. But there is some weight to the object you pick up, so like there's a bit of delay, and they've actually recreated that here, although maybe a little too much so. But like I said, this is pretty much what Link uses to move things around, and man, does it come in handy. And next up we have Stasis, so we can pick this up right here, and freeze it in place. Now the cool thing about this is it stores kinetic energy as well, so in the game you could smack it, and when you would smack it, it would store that energy to then be released. If you couldn't tell, it did come down with much more force, although it didn't go the opposite way like it pretty much should have. This works really well with Magnesis. If you pick this up and kind of like really toss it in the air, then you can fuse it with that to really store it. Let's see if it works with Odessa. Damn it. All right, one more time. I'm gonna kind of make it just fall on him. This should be enough. Oh, okay, wait, whoa, whoa. Get over here. All right, let's see. I'm uninstalling this game. Next up we got Cryonis, or Cryonis, however you wanna say that. This, like I said before in the kind of overview thing, you can create an ice pillar out of water. Now I think you can only make three or two of these. Okay, three of them at a time. Now, normally Link can climb up these. Um, unfortunately though, yeah, we're not Link. Or are we? We could simply jump and wall run up the ice pillars, pretty much just like Link does. Although it might take a, a few tries. How I can climb solid ice like this, I couldn't tell you. But this is going to help you to navigate certain puzzles. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a lot of water, and sometimes you need to cross that water without getting in it. This is going to be your best friend. All right, last up, and probably the most important feature is, well, the camera. Get them close up, just like that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, it pretty much just acts like the camera. Um, in fact, it even just takes a picture of the slate. So if you really want to take a picture, probably should just use the in-game camera. All right, so I absolutely love The Legend of Zelda. Like, I'm, I am love it, man. Ever since the Ocarina of Time days, it's always been one of my favorite game franchises. So why don't we try to relive it in an actual series of maps that is a recreation of some of the shrines that you can experience 
inside of Breath of the Wild. We're already at the first one and I don't even know what the hell to do. They even recreated the elevator. I don't know how they did it, but this is freaking amazing. <laughs> All right, so this one is pretty simple and uh, something tells me we're actually not even going to need the Sheikah tablet. In fact, they completely remove literally all of your weapons but of course i can just spawn it in all right let's try the cube here aha just like the game okay they want us to take a barrel with oh okay with this one um i think you normally have to whack this but we don't have a sword so we're gonna ignore that and for that one we're just gonna put a drawer on it all right so that should have unlocked the chest which gave us a grenade. Why, why the hell do we need a grenade? There's a lot of questions here. A lot of weird questions. Unfortunately, I can only put one bomb down, so we have to actually do that. But that is the first one done. Was the Sheikah Slate even all that useful? Not really. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, on to the next one. All right, guys, why don't we really kick it up a notch? So this one, normally, you have to use stasis. But, uh... Yeah, 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 that doesn't really work in Gary's mod. So we have a button instead. Now, can we stasis that ball? No, we can't. Wait, is that the Borealis? What? What? We got the Borealis here, guys, because why not? <laughs> So there you have it, that's the Sheikah Slate. It has a bunch of cool features. Somehow the creator actually did transfer all the features from the main game into Gary's Mod almost perfectly. Like, all the sound effects are there, all the visual effects are there. It, it's pretty damn amazing. So this mod definitely deserved its own showcase, and I really hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please let me know what you think about it by leaving a like down below and subscribing. As always, guys, until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.